Hey guys, Allison from Omnivore's Homestead here today. It is butcher day. I've been waiting for today. Um, we've got nine rabbits that we're gonna do today. Um, just wanted to give you a quick view of our setup. These are all of our grow outs over here. They're about 10 to 12 weeks old. Usually when they start getting that age, they reach about five pounds, they start rifling through feed. It's not really sustainable to go much longer. Um, and they're nice and tender at this age just before they get to maturity and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about you know, taking, separating your males and your females. Um, and they're nice and friendly at this age so they don't run from you when you go to grab them, which is really nice. So we've pulled all of the feed and water for these guys yesterday. Some people do, some people don't. We found that we like to keep them as clean as possible when we're processing. So this just ensures that there's no feces in their tracks or you know, any urine or anything like that that you're gonna pop into and contaminate your meat. And it just works for us. So we're gonna go ahead and show you our process of how we do it and um, yeah, enjoy. So this is our butcher area. What we do when we start is we give them a quick little bop on the head and what that does is it kind of stuns them. Rabbits have very, very sharp nails and they have very strong hind legs. So by giving them a quick little bop on the head and stunning them, it keeps them from cutting, you know, cutting yourself. I have scratches all up and down my arms and legs from these guys. So from there, after they're stunned, we hang them up by these little nooses um, and it just, you hang them by their back feet. We give them a quick little cut on the jugular right underneath the ear and then they bleed out. They bleed out almost instantly. It's very fast, very efficient. What that does is the heart will kind of act as, it continues to pump and it kind of acts as a bilge pump to pull all the blood and stuff like that out of the extremities and it just makes it taste better. You don't get any of that gamey taste from the blood and stuff like that because the blood is what really taints your meat and makes it taste bad. So we're not going to film the dispatching method. It's a little unsavory. I don't know how Facebook will take it. So we're going to go ahead and dispatch them off camera. We can pick up right back after they've been dispatched. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to private message us and we can go into further detail with you guys. So I've got my rabbit strung up. I went ahead and I removed the head. That way it makes it a little, the skinning process a little bit easier. You're gonna slice a slit in the belly. Go up the leg here with your knife blade facing out so that you don't poke into any of that meat. Up to the ankle there. Work your thumbs in around behind. that leg. Same with this other side. I always seem to butcher these guys when they're blowing a coat. Never fails. It's a problem with the Florida heat. Work your thumb around. that leg. I like to give it a little tug down. Work your thumbs behind until they touch each other. You get a little handle hold. Work your thumb up to that tail. Slice it off a good 45 degree angle and pull it down like a tube sock. Pop these arms out a little bit. You want to expose that knuckle. Mm. All right. Come down a little bit farther. Yeah, it's right there. All right. Some people just cut through that bone with a sharp pair of scissors. I usually snap them off. That way there's no sharp edges in my freezer bags poking through, causing problems. Two little slices pop right off. Of 
course, this one's gonna be a pain in the butt. There it goes. I'm gonna remove this little tuft of fur that was left. Pinch and pull the belly out, make a little slit. I stick my fingers down in there to pull, and you can use gravity, pull it away a little bit. That way all the innards slide away from the skin, all the way down to that sternum. Same process going up to the pelvic. From here, I'm going to make a little score line Pop it open, hold it by this leg and it will separate and go up along either side of the anus. Just removing that digestive tract. Grab a hold of that right there. Bam. Pull it all down. Good and clean. I'm going to go ahead then and remove this. Okay, from here you're pretty much done with the knife until you remove those knuckles. Um, everything just kind of falls out. Kidneys. We don't save any of the innards. Some people do. Um, rabbits are animals of prey. So if they're sick, they usually don't show it until it's too late. So in order to check my herd health, I always look at the liver and the lungs. It's a nice healthy looking liver. There's a spleen in there for the gallbladder. If you're going to be saving these, you want to cut that out. Remove the diaphragm. There's the lung and the heart. They look nice and healthy. And I've been slicing through the rib cage right along the sternum so that I can pull those glands out of the neck. between these loins. Make sure you grab that. Alright, from there, just want to cut that tendon. Pop those knuckles. Give it a good rinse. There you have it. Some nice, clean, healthy white meat for you guys. From there, I put it into a cooler of salted ice water. And then from there, it goes into a brine for a few days. But I'll go over that more later.